what's up guys welcome to the first video of modern javascript for lwc series so in this video guys i'll show you why and why not you should use where let and constant while developing a lightning web component or while uh, scripting in javascript and also i'll show you like what is the difference between function and a block scope so guys uh, before coming to this lwc i'm assuming like you must be aware about the html the javascript stuff the basic javascript at least and css part as well but whatever you have learned in javascript if you are thinking like that is enough so trust me it is not there there are a lot of changes uh, after the esx was introduced so in this series we'll be discussing those modern ways to develop your javascript develop your code in javascript okay so before esx the only way you could declare a variable or a function in javascript was using the where keyword previously we were just using the where keyword and now you have other options so in this video i'll show you like why you want to use them so for all the videos and tutorial in this series i will be using a playground from playcode.io so for that you just need to search for playcode.io in your browser and click on get started and from here you can select a javascript template or just an empty javascript file so for my demo i will be selecting the javascript template okay so this is my javascript template so the benefit of using this playcode.io is like uh, so whatever you will be coding here you will be able to see the console in real time and also you will be able to see the output let's suppose if i will add something here so you can see the console as well it is updating uh, in the real time and also the output has been updated already so that's why we'll be using this playcode.io just to show you this these examples and other things okay so let's start it by understanding an example of using where variable declare uh, with the where keyword are said to be in the function scope this means that a variable would exist only within the scope of the function in which it was declared or the nearest parent function as well if it is a nested function for example let's try to build a script so let's suppose if i am taking a where and let's name it text one okay and now i'm creating a function And here I will be declaring another where with the same name. And let's name it okay. Now we will call this function. Okay. Now if I will print a console log here underneath this function and if i will try to print the value of this where so what do you think like what is going to be the output so as per its functional scope the output should be like it should be a different value for this first one and there should be a different value for this second one as well even though if it is having having the same name but still like they're having a different scope like this is having a kind of global scope and this is having a functional scope so let's try to print a console log here as well okay and let's add the value txt1 okay so if i will print a console log here so we'll be just getting the functional scope of this uh, where txt1 because it is having its separate functional scope so that's why we are just having world here but what will happen if I will try to print another console log here? Let's try to print another console log. We will be having same value, which is txt1. And yep. So here we are having its global scope, which is hello. And inside that function, we are having its functional scope, which is, uh, which is world right now. Okay. So right now you are able to see both difference values here but what will happen if i will add a if block here instead of this functional scope what if 
I'm having a block of a scope. So let's suppose, let me just comment it as of now. Or let me remove it quickly. Okay. Now let's suppose if we are having another code block, which is having a block scope instead of the functional scope, if it, if it is having a block dispose, so let's suppose if I'm having a if block here, okay, and we'll be doing the same stuff in the if block as well. We'll be having the same where txt1 okay and now if i will print the txt1 value in this if block console log okay so you are able to see the block scope of this uh, variable but actually where does not support the block scoping it only support the functional scoping so now if I will try to print the value again after this if condition, let's suppose. So it will still show the world again. You see, so the where value has been replaced by its, uh, its scoped uh, variable because like they were having the same name. So that is the reason like why JavaScript developers are avoiding using where now because like instead of where we are having some other options also. So instead of where we will be using let here. So we can we can simply say like let is the new where in the modern JavaScript, which will solve the block scoping issue here. Let's try the same example with let as well. Okay. So let's suppose if it is a literal. Okay. And this one also. So you see like these uh, this let is having its different scope like it is having the block scope which is separate from the global scope so if we are printing the console log in the block scope so it is just displaying world and if we are printing that uh, value the let value after this block scope so it is printing the actual value which is basically the we can say like which is basically the global value so that's why uh, i was saying like let could let is the new where basically in the modern javascript and don't forget like with let we are having constant also so variable declare with uh, with the constant keyword are also block scope automatically so if you will use a constant parameter also so that will be also having the block scoping thing here however there are a couple of things to be aware of when using the constant keyword since constant value cannot be reassigned, they must be initialized at the time they are declared. So whenever we will be declaring a constant keyword, so the value should be initialized. Value should be initialized at the time of declaring. If you will, if you will not uh, declare the value, then it will be throwing an error like the constant must be declared. So let's suppose if we are creating a constant here. Okay, let's name it my name. Okay, and try to print its value. If I will print my name here in log, so it will say the constant my name must be initialized. So that's why like it is, uh, I would say it is the best practice to initialize the constant value or declare the constant, uh, initialize the value while declaring the constant. But as I said, like the constants value cannot be reinitialized, but you can always modify its properties. So let's suppose like if uh, here, let's suppose if we are creating an object kind of a thing, or uh, let's name it my user. And in this my user, I'm having first name, And last name okay now if I will try to print it so you can see the values like the first name and last name here right 
but uh, in the constant keyword you can always modify its property so we can do it like miser dot first name and my user dot last name okay so we have uh, modified the properties of that constant keyword now okay now let's try to have the output here so if i will have the same log here so you can see the modified properties here so you cannot reinitialize the contact but you can always modify its properties so the bottom line of all of this is that you definitely should use constant to define variables whose values will never change i would say okay so that's it for today guys so this was the first episode of this modern javascript for lwc series if you like the episode make sure you hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching